Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT and welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new pre-arm that you're going to be able to forge in version 3.7 and that is taking a look at the pre-arm version of Demon Blade. Floored Sakura, it's right here, the Ruinous Sakura, and this is going to be the applicable weapon for your Flame Sakitama. I'm actually extremely excited that this weapon got a pre-arms because I love Flame Sakitama as a character. I use her quite often. I'm actually on my way to trying to triple S rank her. It takes a lot of fragments for those who are trying to triple S rank, you know um how many fragments it takes for flame sakitama so that has been a goal of mine i've been working on that for quite some time uh, but i'm extremely excited about this because like i mentioned i use flame sakitama quite often and her receiving a pre-arms just makes her much more relevant and much more usable especially in today's meta so we're going to take a look at this weapon right here first and then in tomorrow's video make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and stick around because we're going to take a look at the tranquil rhapsody in tomorrow's video so uh, be on the lookout for that i'm excited about that one as well so taking a look at the ruinous sakura what we're going to go ahead and do is take a look at what it's actually bringing to the table for you and then we're going to jump into some gameplay so we can show it off a little bit now we're going to take a look at the weapon skill first blood fire frenzy i believe that's how you say that word if i'm not mistaken i probably am so comment down below and comment down below let me know if you're excited about these pre-arms um and if you are let me know which one you're pre-arming or if you're pre-arming both let me know which one you're doing first and uh, I'll let you know mine probably tomorrow. I want to go ahead and go through them both and then let you know which one I'm going to do first. Um, now, let's take a look at uh, this weapon skill right here. An SP cost of zero, cooldown of 21 seconds, unleashes two slashes. The first slash deals 500% attack of fire damage, during which the wielder is invincible, gains a buff. Buff effect additionally deals 200% attack of fire damage. That's fantastic. For her second slash, if she takes any hits, then the wielder gains immunity to the first hit taken within the next five seconds. The second hit deals 300% attack of fire damage and ignites the target to further deal 65 fire damage per half second for five seconds, during which the wielder is invincible. If wielded by Flame Sakitama, enemies hit by the first slash take 42% more fire damage and 10% more ice and lightning damage for 15 seconds. Does not stack with the effects of combo follow up attacks. So, there's a lot in that weapon skill right there so if we're taking a look at it basically what's happening here is flame sakitama is gaining tons of buffs for fire damage um, which is always a great thing and then she's gaining uh some invincibility and uh some damage reduction some immunity um, which is great which means she's not going to be taking uh too much damage if at all and she's gaining more damage uh, or more fire damage more elemental damage and then she's actually providing a pseudo support um, where she's allowing if you have a ice or lightning damage dealer on your team a team member an ally you are uh, allowing them to be able to do at least 10 percent more ice and lightning damage for 15 seconds so if you do this weapon skill you can switch out to your ice rita your memento your lightning empress your uh Yekasumi, and be able to do more damage that's actually a really nice utility and versatility to the weapon skill really good now, taking a look at the first passive skill here, the wielder de deals 45% more fire damage just in general. And I forgot to mention that this has to be wielded by Flame Sakitama to be able to get that second half um, where she's doing even more fire damage and then that pseudo support buff. So I uh, forgot to mention that. But the first passive just deals 45% more fire damage. Always, always a good thing. And then to fuel, uh, fuel the room, excuse me, for the second passive, while unleashing ultimate, the power of the demon blade boosts the wielder's total damage by 10% for 15 seconds. Another just total damage buff just in general, not elemental or anything of that nature. During which the wielder is also cursed by the demon blade and loses 1% of her max HP per second will not cause death. So it won't cause you to die, but you will lose some HP, which is a little unfortunate. The second hit of Bloodfire Frenzy releases the power of the demon blade in the form of flames and for every 1% of HP loss, the wielder additionally deals 80% attack of fire damage, max stack 10 HP loss stops after unleashing the second hit. So with that being said, this is a bit of a glass cannon 
type of move so starting at the beginning just in general you're getting a total damage of 10 percent for 15 seconds you're going to be losing hp but the more hp you lose the more damage you're going to be able to do when you unleash that second attack so that's something to keep in mind it's something that's going to be unique to play around you're definitely going to want to try and lose as much hp as comfortable and then throw out the second slash regardless it's going to be strong you're going to be doing a lot of damage you're just going to want to make sure that you're setting it up just right in my opinion what you're probably going to want to go ahead and do is do the first slash um, make sure that you have your buffs on there um, then do your ultimate so that way you have as much damage that you can deal as possible and then throw out the second slash when you feel comfortable and i think that's how you're going to be able to do a lot of damage in my opinion but that is the skills the weapon skills the passive skills everything that is um entailed when it comes to this new pre-arms of the demon blade florida sakura the ruinous sakura so now is the time to go ahead and jump into some gameplay let's go ahead and test this weapon out all right guys so just went ahead and jumped into the battle suit trial stage just so we could take a look at the new pre-arms of the ruinous sakura so ruinous sakura is a pre-arm that can significantly boost the wielder's fire damage we found that out the weapon active unleashes two strikes if wielded by flame sakitama the first strike deals or first strike additionally affects uh, elemental vulnerability on the target so let's go ahead and do the skill right there i don't know if i got the dodge <laughs> while unleashing ultimate the wielder gains total damage but continuously loses hp so you definitely want to throw out the first strike and then if you have the ultimate on the ready throw out the ultimate just like that and then you can unleash the weapon active again to release a powerful special attack and stop 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 losing hp that's a bit of a typo <laughs> stop losing hp so i think you would want to stay in this form try and lose a little bit of hp and then throw out the second slash right there to be able to do some significant damage um so let's go ahead let's build up some bar here get that going there we go that's nice all right so let's go ahead oh, 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 oh I need to get some SP all right there's some SP right there let's go ahead and grab that and let's grab that all right so I definitely want to go ahead and try and get the ultimate wolf. where are you all right there we go there we go all right so let's throw out the first strike throw out the ultimate there we go all right and then i'm gonna let my oh i just picked up some hp i was gonna say i'm gonna let my hp run down a little bit and then throw out the second slash right there so when you are with groups of mobs when you have a lot of enemies around you you could probably just be attacking in your ultimate which is the ultimate is great so you're gonna be able to do a lot of damage in the ultimate anyways um okay you're going to be able to do a lot of damage with the ultimate anyways. So that's great to be able to just continue attacking, lose some HP. You're going to have some buffs going. And then you want to then go ahead and do your second slash when you can. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and pick up that SP. Let me go ahead and pick up that SP. We're going to go ahead and do it one more time. Here we go. All right, so let's throw out the first strike. There we go. We're going to go ahead and throw that out. The ultimate, as you can see, doing tons of damage. Of course, we have type advantage. Um, let's lose some HP here. Let's do some more. There we go. And then, oh, I might have <laughs> I might have waited too long. It's going to be tricky. You're definitely going to want to play it just right. Um, but I think it's going to be extremely beneficial. Obviously, you're going to be able to do tons of damage and really bring out the potential of Flame Sakitama um where you are able to be able to do maximum damage when it comes to um the first and second strike and then the ultimate overall so i think it's a great pre-arms i think it um, really allows like i mentioned flame sakidama to be able to do a lot of damage makes her more viable in today's meta and i'm actually extremely excited about it like i mentioned earlier in the video these two weapons pre-arms are probably the ones i was looking the most forward to um out of all of the pre-arms so far i mean the frozen naraka of course and the uh nuada's revenge of course but these two i'm extremely excited for in version 3.7 so like i mentioned in the comments down below let me know if you guys are excited for 
uh, these pre-arms and let me know which one you're going to go ahead and do first or if you're going to do both let me know which one you're going to go ahead and start out with as you know the pre-arms take a lot of resources um, so it, it's tough to be able to get them all but um, at least you can try and get some but with that being said that was the video i hope you enjoyed the video today i hope you like what you saw um, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell as i'm coming out with the tranquil rhapsody in tomorrow's video that's going to be a lot of fun uh, but with that being said i'm going to get out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie cody gt and i'm out